Hello grade twos, we're going to practice our maths now, we're going to flash through our, um, our bonds and some time and we're going to count on a 200 block. So are you ready? Let's go. Okay grade twos, I'm going to go through this quite quickly because I know that you can all read these words and I hope that mum and dad are listening with you or an older brother or sister and if you get any wrong then they can always stop the video and go back and you can try again. Okay, let's start. 20. Well done, I'm sure you got most of those right. Okay, let's do double and half. I'll read it for you and then you say the number out loud. I'm not going to say the answer because I know that most of you know it. And if mom and dad or older brother or sister are listening and you don't get something right, they can always help you with the one or two that you didn't get. Okay, let's go. Double one. Double two. Double three. Double four, half of two, half of four, half of six, half of fourteen, Oops. double eight, double six, half of sixteen. Double ten, half of twelve, half of eighteen, half of twenty, double seven, double nine, half of eight, double five, half of ten. Great, well done. Okay, let's do some time. I know you love your time. Here's a clock. If the long hand is on the 12, we say o'clock. And then the short strong hand is telling us what hour it is. So let's go. Three o'clock. Nine o'clock. Two o'clock. You've got to beat me and say it first. One o'clock. Seven o'clock. Six o'clock. Ten o'clock. Five o'clock. Twelve o'clock. Eight o'clock. Eleven o'clock. Now, if you want some more practice with that, you could always turn the sound off and practice doing it by yourself. Okay, let's get it a little bit more tricky and do the half past. And then later on, yes, we can play the game. You can challenge yourself this time on how many you got right. Okay, so if the long hand is on the six, that means it is half past because that is half the clock. And the short strong hand will have just passed a number. So we're talking about the number that it is just past. So in this case you can see it's half past three. Half past four. Half past ten. Half past two. Half past six. Half past Eight, half past one, half past seven, half past 
nine. Half past eleven. Well done. Okay, let me mix those ones up. I'm going to do it quite quickly and I'm not going to say the answers. And I would like someone to sit next to you that can tell the time. Maybe mom or dad or an older brother or sister. If they can, if they're working, then don't ship with them. Ask them to come and sit next to you. And without saying anything, just count all the ones you get right. And then that's your high score. And tomorrow you try again and you see if you can get more right. Okay, so it's a competition against yourself. So I'm going to count to maybe three in my head and then do the next card. And then you've just got to say the answer as quickly as possible. Okay, let's go. Okay, well done. Next week I'm going to make a new video for you with a quarter past and quarter two because I know that lots of you are already really great at o'clock and half past. But we're just revising those for now and next week we will start again with quarter past and quarter two and then the following week we're going to do something really interesting which is like five past, ten past, ten two and all those other ones. Okay, but now let's move on to some bonds. I know you guys are really good at those. Let's do some plus. Again, I'm going to go through these ones quite quickly. And I think you need to do the best you can. And maybe if there's someone nearby, they can tell you if you are getting the answers right. Or they can count for you. And that's your high score for today. And then you can see if you can beat that tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to count to two in my head and then I'm going to say the answer out loud so that you can also see how you're doing. I think that's a good plan. Okay, three plus three. I'm pretty sure you guys know that. Six, you got it. Okay, let's go faster. 10. Six. You've got to beat me, hey? Whoops, is that upside down? Yep. Okay. Nine, eight, ten, nine, six, seven, nine, seven. Seven, eight, six, eight. I'm sure I'm winning. Ooh, seven, eight, ten, nine. Nine, ten, last one for now, six, well done. Hey, what was your high score? Or did you beat me? You've got to try and do better tomorrow. Okay, I didn't mix them up because I thought that would be easier for the video to just keep them separate. 
So now we're doing some minor sums. See, I made it nice for you guys. Okay, <clears throat> 10 takeaway one is nine. Right, have you got it? Let's go. Eight. Six. Five. Seven. Seven. Five. Seven, six. Did you get it? Three, four, five. Last one. Five. Okay, very good. And I think next week when I make the video, I'm going to mix those up and then make it even harder for you. Okay. Right, grade twos. Let's count in tens all the way to 200. Let's go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200. Right, why don't you pause the video and do that again by yourself. Let's count in fives. Let's start at 100. 100, 105, 110, 115, 120, 125, 130, 135, 140, 145, 150. You keep going. Two hundred. Did you get there? Okay, let's count backwards from a hundred and ten and stop at eighty. I'll start with you and then I'll say your turn and it will sound quiet, but that's because you meant to be counting. Okay. A hundred and ten, a hundred and nine, a hundred and eight, a hundred and seven, your turn, a hundred and six. Okay, 80. Did you get it? Right, for the last thing I want us to count in twos. Now I want you to start at two and count all the way to 200. So that's going to take you quite a long time. And it would be great if mom or dad are sitting nearby and if they could check. Otherwise, you just do it by yourself. Have a look at the numbers on the screen and start at two. Count in twos all the way to 200. I know you can do it. When you finish doing that, you open your number sense book and you do two pages, please. When you, if you can, you can do more and you can finish your number sense book. And then next week, I'm going to let you start in your Bluebird maths books again. Okay, so listen to this memory work every day until I do a new video. Do two pages of number sense a day and then the following week we'll do something else. All right, starting at number two all the way to 200. Let's go.